you're experiencing missing stitches, thread breaks, or the needle is not catching the bobbin at all, maybe the needle dip is not properly set up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the needle dip on your Redline embroidery machine. First, you will need to remove the bobbin case from the hook assembly. Then, load the needle manually to 180 degree. Once the main shaft hits a 180 degree, check the distance between the tip of the needle and the peg of the rotary hook. It must be 6 millimeters. In order to check the distance between the peg and the needle, you must use a needle dip gauge. Insert the gauge with the flat surface upwards. Then twist the gauge to the round surface and the tip of the needle must barely touch the round surface of the gauge. In this particular machine, the needle is a little lower, so we are going to readjust the needle dip. In order to readjust the needle dip, you must remove the red line cover. And also, I will recommend to remove the upper cover. By removing both covers, we will have better access to the adjustment of the needle dip. In order to readjust the needle dip, you must loosen the screw of the lower ring. Once the screw of the lower ring is loosened, grab the needle bar from the needle holder and readjust the needle dip. Then carefully tie the screw of the lower ring. Then turn the main shaft block knob to verify if there is no pressure on the upper ring on top of the needle bar. In order to verify this, you must do a full round of the main shaft. After you confirm that there is no pressure on the upper ring, press the 100 degree icon so the main shaft can reset to 100 degree. Manually load the needle to confirm if the needle bar is moving down. If the needle is moving down, then you finish the adjustment. If in the upper ring you observe pressure, you must readjust the upper ring. Now to readjust the upper ring, barely loosen the screw of the upper ring. Once the upper ring is barely loosened, you must do a full round on the main shaft to release the pressure. Once you confirm that there is no pressure on the upper ring, Tighten the screw, then press the 100 degree icon in your control panel, then load the needle manually to confirm that the needle is coming down. The needle is coming down, you have finished the adjustment. Press the 100 degree icon, reinstall the covers and your machine is ready. In this part of the video, I'm going to undo the adjustment of the upper ring so you can see how I readjust it. So first I'm going to loosen the upper ring. It's completely loose. As you can see, both rings are together. If you can see, if I try to load the needle, you can see that the needle is not coming down. To readjust the upper ring, I will load the needle a little bit. I will raise that ring and tighten the screw. Using the block knob, I will move the main shaft manually to see if there's pressure on the upper ring. As you can see in the video, there is a little pressure on the upper ring. I will leave the main shaft where the pressure is on the upper ring. Then I will barely loosen the screw of the upper ring to release the pressure. Then I will tighten them up. Then by moving the main shaft manually, I will verify if the pressure is gone. Then I will press the 100 icon. And once again, I will move manually the main shaft to see if the needle is coming down. Once I confirm that the needle is coming down, I will press the 100 icon and the machine is ready. 